Hey everyone, today we will learn how to add the feature of reset password in our Nextjs app using Superbase. In the previous video, we have learned how to create a new account with email and password and how to log in with them. So let's get started. So first go to the documentation, uh, go to flows and then password based and then go to resetting a password section and choose the PKC flow and here you'll find the email template then just go to the dashboard go to email templates now go to reset password and just change the template that's it and uh, save now let's add the UI uh, just go to the auth form after this sign up button we will add another link that will redirect you to the slash reset route so the link text will be for good password now we can create a new action so let's create a new function send reset password email let's create the superbase client and we need to call the reset password for email function and inside the function call you need to pass the email input so just use the get method if there is any error we're gonna return an error message and also the copilot has suggested me a wrong code so this shouldn't be dot api this should be just superbase auth dot reset password for email and now let's send another response if there isn't any error and we need to create another function which will be used for updating the actual password let's create a client and now we need to call the update user method so superbase.auth.update user and we need to pass the email sorry not the email just the password and let's get the data and error if there is any error we're gonna log it out and otherwise we're gonna display a success message let's create a new page reset.page.js let's create a component Let's add a form. So this is the form. We just have uh, input email and uh, reset button. Let's use the use action state. Send reset email, reset password email function. And we can pass an error and success. Let's get the state and now we can attach the form action. We can disable the button if it is pending. We can show a loader when the pending state is true and we can display success and error state and let's destructure them that should be it for this page and if I go to localhost and click on forward password oh I need to make sure that the component is page uh, sorry client component so once we request for a reset password it will send an email and once you click on that email it will log you to your account but we want to redirect them directly to a page where they can update their password so we can create a new page for that so inside the reset uh, page we can create another 
page update password slash page dot jsx let's create a form i will add some tailwind class names to the parent and let's add a form i'll paste some code here so basically we have uh, input for adding our new password and then a button for updating the password so let's add the use action state hook And we need to pass the update password function and an initial state let's get the state and pass the form action and let's restructure the state and then we can display error and success state So that should be it. Uh, let's try it out. So I will pass my email. So it says, please check your email. And now we have a new email. And if I click on this link, it will log me in, in our project. So let's click. It has reacted us to slash account slash update password. I guess I forgot to add the actual redirect link, so I will fix that up. But if I just go to localhost 3000, you see that I am now logged in. Previously, I wasn't logged in. So I will just sign out again. And let's go to the dashboard. Here, I'm gonna change the redirect link to reset slash update password now let's click save and let's try it out now let's go to our email I'll close these tabs let's click reset password it should work now Again, I forgot to add the use client directive, but it doesn't matter. You can see we have uh, redirected to the actual uh, URL that we wanted. So I can just quickly fix it up by adding the use client directive. And now we don't have any error. Uh, let's change the password. Update password password updated now let's go to the home page we are logged in sign out sign in i'm gonna add the gmail and the password that i have added and now i am logged in and one thing i forgot to add in the previous video is the loading state whenever you click on sign in or sign up so let's do that in this video so just go to the auth form file and the is pending state oops is pending state is unused so we're going to use that now so just go to the submit button here let's add disabled property and pass is pending and then we will add another condition so we'll copy from here. If his spending is true, then we're gonna display a loader. So let's try. I will add my password, sorry, add my email and password. Sign in. And now I am signed in and you also saw the loader. So that's it for this video. You have learned how to add the reset password feature in your project using Superbase. If the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. In the next video, we will learn how we can log in with our account using Magic Link. So that's it for today. Stay safe. Goodbye.